boiling pot. Well, joining me now is Wayne Angel, former Federal Reserve governor and founder of Angel Economics. And Wayne, it's great to see you. Um, you know, I have to ask you about your initial thoughts when you heard the news. Do you think this is a good idea? Uh, yes, I, I think it's a very good idea because I think it may prompt the chairman to be a little bit more careful in regard to uh, his choice of targets. Uh, the, the chairman is, I think, unnecessarily worried about uh, deflation. Uh, he and I both watched deflation in Japan, but we're not anyways near that kind of a, an event. Wayne, I I've always understood the independence directed to, you know, you want an independent Fed. I've never understood the secrecy element. Why, why did that ever, ha where did that come from and why was it allowed to, ha to go on for so long? Well, it just sort of came out of a view that that policymakers are better at making decisions uh, if you don't have a camera on them while they're doing it. So uh, clearly the Fed has lagged in getting back uh, to a better policy and, and having press conferences four times a year I think would be a help. They didn't even give us the decisions until <laughs> 1994. Exactly. Now, one question I have, Wayne, and it really revolves around the area of how does that affect the bond market? You know, when we get that quick of information, it, you know, my, my biggest concern are the, uh, the clients that I serve, the 55 to 75-year-olds. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, if we get that quick information going or, or if the Fed kind of leads us in one direction with those, with those rates, is that going to cause a faster reaction within the bond market? And if so, how do we explain that to, uh, to the retirees out? there. Wayne? Uh, it's, not, it's not going to cause a bad reaction if the Fed is very uh, focused on its primary responsibility, which is price stability. And uh, when I was at the Board of Governors, I always thought it was very, very important that the bond market react well to what I had to say. And frankly, the bond market never took a downturn on anything I had to say, because I always spoke about the desirability and price stability. Wayne Angel, former Federal Reserve Governor and somebody that Bob Dole at one point called an inflation hawk. Wayne, it's always great to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you. And you know, real quick, I want to get your opinion, Dunstan. How do you think just behind the scenes that Bernanke's feeling about this? Well, I, I think he's probably relieved to get out there. He's been second guest and all the rest. You know, m my colleague Matt Egan wrote this story about six months ago, and people jumped all over him. They said, oh, it'll never happen. Yet e Europe has been doing it for several years. It's been widely praised over there. And I I've seen it coming for a long time. With the influence the Fed has, there's no reason why they shouldn't be more accountable and more out in front and more... Uh, transparent with what they said. Well, how about the elliptical riddles that we want for a decade from Alan Greenspan? We sort of took it <laughs> as gospel because he was Alan Greenspan Fed chairman. How'd that work out for us? That drove a lot of journalists to drink trying to figure out what yeah. Greenspan was saying. <laughs> Remember those days? And, and we took it all like, as gospel what? as if we yeah. should because he's the Fed chairman and they're allowed <laughs> this secrecy. Well, enough of no. that. It's over.